Pearl and welcome to my Swift tutorial for beginners lesson 7 part 2. So back in part 1 of lesson 7 we learned about functions, how to declare them, and how to call them. Well in today's video we'll be learning about how to use our functions to input and output data using parameters. By the way, check out my latest app on the App Store, Pearl Calculator. Now let's get into the video. Okay, so on my screen here, I have my playground that I created in part one of lesson seven. And inside my playground, I first have a variable called str. I also have a function called create full name, which adds somebody's first name with their last name and then prints out full name or that person's full name. And finally, I have a line of code that simply calls create full name. So this is the playground that I'll be working with today. Okay, so before I begin this video, I'm just going to give you guys a quick recap of what we did or what we learned in the last video. So in the last video, we learned about how to declare a function and how to call a function. So to declare a function, you just want to type in a function keyword, which is func. Then you'll want to type in your function name and then one set of parentheses and a set of curly brackets. And inside these two curly brackets is where you'll put the code that will run if your function is called. To call a function, you'll just want to write first your function name and then a set of parentheses. Okay, so back in the previous video, we did learn about functions and how to call them, but we did not learn about this little set of parentheses that are typed in after a function's name is declared. So what are these two parentheses for? Well, these two parentheses are basically for you to type in all the parameters that your function will need. And parameters are basically just little um, variables that store values that your function will input so let's learn how to declare a parameter. So the first thing you'll want to type in when you declare a parameter is an argument label. And I'll just call this arg. And we'll learn about how argument labels are used later into the video. And then you'll want to type in your parameter name. And then this symbol. And after that, you'll just want to type in the data type that your parameter will input. So we'll set this as string. Um, and now Xcode will give us an error where on the line where our function was called. And that's because Xcode needs you to fill in the values of your parameters that were declared. So I'll just want to type in my argument label to fill this parameter value out. And then I will type in my value in which my parameter will store. And we'll set first to, we'll set first name to Jane. and. When you want to use your parameter inside of your function, you'll simply just want to type in your parameter name. And if you want to declare more than one parameter, you'll simply want to put a comma after your first argument or your first parameter. And then you'll want to type in another argument label, another parameter name, a colon sign, and then again, the data type that your parameter will hold. And again, Xcode will give us an error because we did not input the value of all of the parameters. So 
we'll just input our second parameter and we'll set this last name to nil. I just thought of it, <laughs> random. So we can change last name to last. And now if we run our code, our code should print out Jane Nell. And here we have Jane Nell printed out. So the last thing I want to talk about in this video is about how you can use your function to return values back to you. So to let your function return something back to you, you'll first just want to type in a dash after your set of parentheses on this line where you declare your function name. And then this symbol and after that, you'll just want to type in the data type of the value that your variable will return. So in our case, it would be a string because um, we will we'll probably be returning full name. And Xcode has given us an error here because we did not return anything. So to return something, or to let your function return something, you'll just want to type in return, which is the keyword for <laughs> return. And then you'll want to type in what you'll want to return. And in our case, it'll be full name. So um, now if we declare a variable called, let's say, um, full name with a capital N, and we'll set this to, I'll copy this. to create full name. And now if we print this out, nothing will be printed out because we did not declare a print function inside of our create full name. But if we do print out our full name variable that we have declared right here, not right here, not inside of our function, full name, then we should have Jane Nell printed out. Now, if we wanted to change our name, our first name, or our last name, we would just have to change it right here. So you can set Jane to Nick. And we could change the last name to White. So our computer would simply return Nick White or first name space last name. And one final little thing before I end this video, you do not need to have argument labels when you declare a parameter. So if we deleted these argument labels that we have declared right here before our parameter name, then Xcode will just let us fill in our argument labels with our parameter names. And now if we run our code, then Nick White or our full name would still be printed out onto our console. And that's about it for this video. Thanks for watching and please share this video if it was useful for you. Please like, comment, and subscribe and see you in the next video.